The Weave of Time, Unraveling the Grandfather Paradox. In the hallowed halls of science fiction, where ideas take root amidst the soil of imagination, one paradox has stirred more debate, inspired more tales, and baffled more minds than perhaps any other. The Grandfather Paradox. A conundrum so profound, it raises questions about the very nature of time, reality, and the interwoven threads of cause and effect. Let us embark on a journey, not of distance, but of time. Imagine, if you will, a young traveler, eager and audacious, stepping into a machine capable of piercing the veil of time. This traveler, driven by some unfathomable motive, voyages to a time long before his birth, to an era where his grandfather, a mere youth himself, roams the land. And here, in a twist of fate, or perhaps defiance against it, the traveler ensures that his grandfather never meets his future wife, the traveler's grandmother. This act, seemingly simple in its execution, spawns a cascade of questions. If his grandparents never unite, how can the traveler's parent be born? And if the traveler's parent never exists, how then can our intrepid voyager ever come into being to commit this act? The grandfather paradox is not merely a puzzle of logistics but a profound meditation on the fragility and malleability of time. Is time a river, flowing in one direction, its course unalterable? Or is it more akin to fabric, malleable and yielding, ready to reshape itself around the disturbances of temporal interlopers? Bradbury, in his timeless tales, often danced around the fires of such questions. For him, and for us, the answers are not as crucial as the exploration. Consider the butterfly, its wings delicate, yet its impact profound. A single flap, in the distant past, might birth tornadoes in futures unforeseen. The grandfather paradox, in essence, is the ultimate butterfly effect. A single action, rippling outwards, reshaping reality in its wake. There are those who propose solutions, of course. Some postulate alternate realities, a splintering of timelines, each decision birthing a new universe. Here, the traveler's interference doesn't erase his existence but merely creates a divergent path, one among an infinite sprawl of what-ifs. Others, with a more deterministic bent, argue that time, in its wisdom, will always correct itself. The traveler, by the very nature of his journey, was always meant to interfere, and time has already accounted for it, woven it into the tapestry. Yet, perhaps the most haunting interpretation is that of time as an unforgiving force, a river that, once diverted, can drown its disruptor in a sea of non-existence. A universe where the act of preventing one's lineage ensures one's own erasure, a loop with no beginning or end. Beyond the mechanics and theories, the grandfather paradox speaks to our deepest fears and desires, the wish to rewrite our pasts and the terror of the consequences such acts might entail. It questions the very nature of existence, identity, and the intricate dance of cause and effect. In the hands of a storyteller like Bradbury, this paradox becomes more than a thought experiment. It transforms into a tale of humanity. A story of our ceaseless quest for understanding, our timeless yearnings to explore the unknown, and our eternal struggle with the boundaries of our knowledge. In conclusion, the grandfather paradox, in all its perplexing beauty, serves as a reminder, a beacon of sorts. It tells us that time, with its ebbs and flows, its mysteries and wonders, remains one of the final frontiers. And as we stand at the precipice of understanding, staring into the abyss of the unknown, we are reminded of our place in this vast cosmos, of the stories we tell, and the realities we weave.